Hey YouTube, it's me, Maddie Makes, with another video for you here today. Thank you for joining me. I'm here for inspiration. I'm in my favorite place, um, Canva, one of my favorite places anyway. I'm going to start doing some stuff in Publisher, y'all. Um, so anyway, you, you, if you've joined me before, you know I love me some Canva. Um, I've already opened up the document and it's a re regular letter size. Today we are going to make some, um, well, we're going to start. I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, show you how to make um, alphabet tracing paper for kids, um, you know, so that they can practice. So anybody out there doing homeschooling and you don't want to pay for the workbooks, you can make your own. Okay. So here we go. Let's get started. We're going to start with the letter A. All right. That's what we go first. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm going to need my, my rulers. All right. Keep us keep us okay and contained, not all over the place. All right, one there. And if you don't know how to get those, you go to file and then view settings. And then these are your, I have already clicked, but it's show, show your rulers and guides and then show margins, okay? Okay, and I want another one and I'm gonna probably put it right about there. Right about there. 4.432, where we got on this one. All right. Okay, that looks about right. Good enough, y'all. And then I think I'm good with everything else. So we're going to start with the letter A today. I've already picked, I did a little um, um, planning because I wanted to think about what I've wanted this to look like okay so I already picked the font that I want so we're going to go ahead and add a heading and you see us thinking we got to give it time to there we go and now we're going to go and just delete since it's the letter a I'm going to delete all of this or at least I'm going to try delete 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 I don't need all that I just need the a all right and then real quick just so we can see it I'm going to increase the font so for the letter a I'm going to change this font to something called Open Sauce. Isn't that a weird name, y'all? Yeah. Open Sauce. Semi bold. And there we have it somewhere. Here, Open Sauce Semi bold. See how nice and blocky it makes the letter look? So I'm feeling that. Okay. And we're going to need it maybe a little bit bigger. I'm going to say we're going to go up to like about, if I can, for now, 175. Okay. Click off. Oops. Click back on. And we want to move it up here to the top. Maybe I will pull my rulers from here too, you guys. So I can keep it together. Okay, a little bit bigger. We want to leave enough room for, for the kids to be able to, to, to write, to practice. Okay, and then we're going to go copy. And then we're going to go paste. I could have just said duplicate, couldn't I? Now this one, I want to go, I got to think about where it is. Oh, right here, up here. I was hoping it would work, but it didn't work. Okay, so that's okay. It's okay, we're going to click on it. And we're going to change that to a lowercase. Keep in mind, y'all, not all fonts have a lowercase. Some of them just have capital letters, just in case you didn't know that, okay? So now we have our A, all right? And now we had to have something to go with that A, well, a picture, right? Kids like pictures. And I, I decided to have a theme. I don't want A is for Apple. Um, everybody does A is for apple. So I'm going with animals. And so my thought is the alligator. Okay. And so we go on over here and we click on elements. Oh, he's already there. See, ha, huh? kind of cute. And we are going to put him right here. And I'm trying to go for, get this, outline silhouettes, right? empty on the inside because the kids can also color this. Does that make sense? 
So it, this serves two purposes. One, they can practice their letters, and two, they can um, go ahead and color if they want to. All right, so everything's about lined up. I'm good. All right. Stand, stand, keeping it together, keeping it together. All right. This was 211, and this is 211. All right. Okay. So then the next thing we do is we need some lines to practice, right? So let's go to line. We're going to go over here. We're going to get this line and, you know, do what it does. Go right up here. Pull this all the way to the end. You don't want to go over. So make sure you stop and then do the same thing right here. All right. Uh-oh. Didn't go far enough to my own orders. Haha. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm going to go all the way over. Right there. Oops. Did that work? No. Bear with me, y'all. Oopsie. Now I'm in a mood of thing. That's about okay, right there. Click back on it, and we're gonna go all the way over. All right, pretty good. And then click again and go all the way over. And we're good. All right, so we're good on that one, right? And now we need another line though. And, and let, let's duplicate that. Click on it, duplicate. We need one for the bottom, right about there. Okay. All right. We need another line though, right? We need this dotted line. And we're going to put that in the middle. You remember that trace, that alphabet paper, that trace, uh, when you guys used to do your letters? I remember this when I used to do my letters. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now we have it. But I still want to go over here and I'm going to go to um, over here to transparency and I'm going to lighten that line up a little bit. Did I click on it? Yeah. And lighten it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now we got to put the letters there, right? So we're going to go over here and go to text and add a text box boost up the font all right and we want an a gonna need to be a little bit bigger so let's keep going about right there i think all right but this is not the font we want because that's not how kids write right so we're going to highlight that and then we're going to go to fonts and there's a font called um is it student canva canva student canva student right here y'all uh-oh uh-oh that's all right. We'll get it fixed. It's right here. We'll make it big again. And we're going to delete this one because we don't need it. Then we're going to take this over here. And we have our first letter. Now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want it to touch the lie. All right. All right. Now, before I get started, I forgot to do something. So let's get our A and move it off of here. We have enough space. Let's group these. So let's highlight them and group them. Go up here, group, and then we need to duplicate those because we don't want to keep making lines, y'all. And then we have those down here. And then we'll do it again. We can move this back up here now, because we got it one. And we're gonna duplicate it again. 
down here, and then we're going to duplicate one more time. All right, looks good. All right, so now we have our A. We can go ahead and we can duplicate this because we have two places where they can, they can do the tracing, right? Okay, and I need to line these up a little better. There we go. And now we do it again, duplicate. But this time, y'all, we want to shade that letter out a little bit, right? Because the whole purpose is they're tracing. And that's pretty good. Okay. Now for my liking, it's a little close because kids tend to write big, right? Okay, so we have our A. And now all we need to do is, do, is I'm sorry, click off, click, click back on and duplicate. Just keep duplicating and go all the way across. That's all we're gonna do. And Canva's telling us that the we are um, that the alignment is okay. 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 Keep duplicating. Okay, so now we come down here and we do the same thing. Oops, sorry y'all, we don't do that. I'm gonna delete that. I meant to duplicate this. And we go all the way across, just like we did before. And now it's getting smart on us, right? It's remembering somewhat with, that these are going next to keeping with the pattern, y'all. Now, the next thing we have to do, and we're going to tidy these up if we can. Uh-oh, undo that. I didn't click on the letter properly. All right. All right, so now we have our uppercase A. Now we need another text box because we need that lowercase A, right? So let's go to text again. It probably will work if I just duplicate this. Nah, we better do it this way. Keep life simple. Um, add a text box and it landed right here. We're gonna do an A, but we're gonna we need to get that font up a little bit bigger. And that's about where I want it. Let's see now. And so I want it to be just like that. All right. And again, we duplicate it. Because we need one for the bottom. And then we duplicate it. Move it up, but we make, the, make it transparent. Just like that. Just like we did the uppercase A, okay? And then we just duplicate it. Look at that. I love it. All 
I probably could get one more, but I'm going to stop where I ended with these A's, okay? And then we're going to go back up here, do the same. We're going to uh, duplicate again. But we're going to move this up here. Try to be in line with everything else. And then we're going to hit duplicate. It's funny how sometimes it remembers and sometimes it doesn't, huh? Don't ask me the method to the madness. I don't know. And then go back and duplicate, duplicate and duplicate and so yeah we have our first now what i will do let me just see if i can do this is i'm going to go over try to go over these letters right here and see if i can't get canva to tidy them up yeah it tidied them up all right well kind of i don't want them randomly i want them on the line but I can do that part. Just put them on a lie. It evenly spaced them, which was the most important part for me. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Go to position, tidy them up. I did it again, but that's okay. Bring it down. You know what I probably could have did? Oh no, it that wouldn't have worked. Never mind. Baby, no mind, y'all. Okay. One more thing here. We're doing the same thing. Tidying them up. We almost done, y'all. Last row, position, tidy them up, and we keep going. And there you have it, you have a uh, tracing sheet for the first letter of the alphabet, which is A. Now, just so you know, um, you get the idea. This is just for inspiration. Um, what I would do now, though, is what I should have done before I put all the letters here is should, I should have duplicated the page so that all I'll have to do now, uh oh, trash that, and let's go to duplicate it so that all you have to do is go like this. See what I'm saying? And change a picture. Everything is already um, I don't know why it's doing the whole thing. I need him to go away. But I'm going to change him to a bat. So my suggestion to you is to before you um, before you put all the letters on your sheets uh, duplicate the, du duplicate the page because you you can you can have you can just change the the letters up here and then you'll have your lines already made if that makes sense to you okay okay with that said you guys that was just a quick video today to show you you can have some fun make some um, alphabet tracing pages for your kids in Canva for free I used all free um, Canva elements all right you guys thank you for listening to my channel until next time.